All right, so this is where we stopped last time. And as you can see, one table has been created for us by default and it comes up with this option here. I am actually gonna just create a new one and leave this one exactly where it is, just so you guys know what to do each time you have to do it, okay? A couple ways we can do this, but I think the most sensible way is to go to create, choose table from here, and it's gonna come up with another table here called table two. Now, as you can see, we have two tabs, both of them saying table, but one of them, the first one is table one. That's the one that Access created for us, right? We're not gonna to touch that one for now. I'm gonna just close it by clicking on the X. It's gone, and table two, is going to be there now because i've not made any changes to table one that's why it went away so table two is now the one that i'm going to be working from and ideally you want to be working in design view this view here um, is data sheet view i believe yes data sheet view we want to be working in design view to get to design view we can simply click on where it says view here in the top left hand corner or we can click on the arrow and choose design view now, it's always best to click on the arrow sometimes because um, you might want to look at a different view. I think for queries, there's datasheet view, design view, and there's also um, SQL view. So clicking on the arrow in some cases does give you more. So let's go to design view and let's try and work out, well, let's work out what each data type needs to be. When you click on design view, now this is going to come up. You're going to need to save your table. I think customer table is probably the best one to do first just because just because really to be fair that's it so i'm going to click ok and if you look at here where it says tables 2 that's going to change to the name of whatever you've typed in here for me it's going to be customer table click ok customer table shows up there now we're going to start filling out this section here and choosing the field names and the data types right so i've just worked out here on my powerpoint this is the same powerpoint i've been going through with you guys i've just worked out here the field names I need to have and the data types of each field name. So for customer ID, I'm going to have that as auto number. For surname, forename and telephone number, I'm going to have all of those as short text as you can see here. And for customer type ID, I'm going to have that just as a number. Let's see how to actually do this in Microsoft Access. So let's look at customer ID first. I'm going to go back to my table here. It already says ID, so I'm just going to type customer in front of it customer ID and it says auto number so I'm going to leave that as it is the next one is going to be surname and surname is going to be a short text once you click on it it automatically comes up with short text right so the field name is on the left the data types are on the right once you finish typing into surname and you click on the right hand side to choose the data type short text is the default thing that comes up right that's going to be the same for, I believe it was for name. I'm going to click there again. It's going to be short text as well. Uh, for name telephone. This is going to be the same short text, so I don't need to change anything here. Now, last one I have is customer type. Let me just copy this because I'm being lazy. Customer type ID. I come here and I paste it. Once I click on this side, again, it says short text, but I don't want short text. On my PowerPoint, I've worked out that this needs to be a number, right? The reason this has to be a number and this cannot actually be auto number, auto number shouldn't, this is going to be the primary key and it shouldn't repeat. But we're not going to worry too much about that for now. The only thing we need to know is that when we need to change the data type, we click on the down arrow and this is again the, um, the, the list of things that we can choose. I'm going to choose number from the list and that's it. I'm actually done. So my customer table has now been created. Now I need to save this a couple ways we can do it, but because I want to actually see what this looks like, I'm going to go back to where it says view at the top left hand corner. I'm going to either click on the arrow and choose data sheet view or simply click on where it says view. When I do that, it's going to ask me, if i'm sure i want to save this table now just choose yes and it takes me back to my table now as you can see i've got customer id here surname forename telephone number customer type let me drag this along customer type id and as i've said before the columns give a small or slight description of what is going to be inside this actual um column i guess so Obviously, I'm going to have customer IDs here, surnames, forenames, telephone numbers, customer type IDs here. 
and I should only have those things in these sections, nothing more. Okay, now that I've created my first table, which is called a customer table, I'm going to go ahead and create my second table. This one is going to be called customer type. Uh, but I'll show you guys one more step while I'm doing this. So I'm going to go back to my access database. Um, I already have one table here. I'm going to go to create. I'm going to go to table. And here, I don't want to be in data sheet view. I want to be in design view straight away. I'm going to click on view. It's going to ask me if I want to save this. I'm going to type the name customer type. Now, I actually want this to be called customer type table. I want the word table to be in it, but I'm going to show you, let's say you made a mistake and you renamed it and you named it something wrong first and you wanted to rename it. All you would have to do is click on it to highlight, right click and go to rename. But it's going to tell me that um, I cannot change the name while it's open. I'm going to click OK to close it. And then this tiny X here beside where it says customer type, I'm going to click on that to close it as well. And now when I do right click and rename, it's going to actually allow me to do it. So this is just to show you guys how to rename something as well. So this is going to be called customer type table. I'm going to press enter. That's locked in. I'm going to double click on it to open it. Then I'm going to click on view to get to design view. Uh, this only has two fields customer type ID already has the word ID there. So I'm going to just type customer type. This is auto number. So that's fine. And then the next one is going to be customer type and that's going to be short text. So customer type and short text. Customer type. And again, once I click over here, it should automatically come up with short text. That's it. I'm done. So I'm going to go back to datasheet view to save it. It's going to ask me if I want to save. I'm going to choose yes. And that's it. Let's go to my next table. Uh, ticket type table. Okay. So again, I'm going to close what I don't need. I'm going to go to create. I'm going to go to table. Um, data sheet view again. I want to get to design view. I'm going to click on this. I think this was called ticket. Let me just copy this because I'm lazy. Ticket type table. I just get rid of the one, put ticket type there. This is going to be called ticket type table. I'm going to press OK. And in ticket type table, I have ticket type ID. Let's do that one first. Ticket type ID, which is auto number. And the next one is going to be ticket type, which is short text. ticket type. I click over here. It gives me short text straight away. Perfect. I don't need to change that one. And then finally, we have ticket cost. Ticket cost is going to be currency. So again, to get currency, click on the arrow. You get your drop down list and you simply click on currency. We're not going to worry about which currency it is yet, but later on, I'm going to show you guys how to have it show up as pounds. So I'm just going to click currency for now and that's it that everything yes so i'm going to click on view again to save this it's going to ask me if i want to save the table i'm going to select yes that's been saved i got three of my four tables now i'm going to close this and i'm going to go ahead and create my fourth table which in this case is going to be ticket table okay there we go ticket table so i've copied that name because i'm lazy again i'm going to go to create table and again i'm in data sheet view I need to get to design view. This one's called ticket table. I'm going to click OK. So this is, again, just me naming the, this table. And I have three things here. OK, so I've got ticket number, ticket type ID, and customer ID. So ticket number first. Ticket number is going to be just a number, not auto number. So I'm going to click the drop down, click number. Then it's going to be ticket type ID. Oh, another thing I do want to mention is there should be no spaces in these column names and try, try your very best. Just don't put spaces anywhere. Don't put any spaces in the actual names of the tables as well. Now, this is why you see me have, um, for example, a capital T for ticket and a capital T for tick type here, here and a capital I for ID. 
because this is what tells anyone else that, okay, this is where one word starts and the other one stops. When you have a caps lock that tells you that, okay, one's ended and one is now starting. It's a very bad idea to use spaces. When doing queries, they just won't work properly when you have spaces. What some people do is rather than having capitals, they might put a dash or an underscore, but I, I just prefer using caps lock. It's up to you what you want to use, but make sure there are no spaces in these names. All right, ticket type ID is number. Uh, where's number, number, number? And then we have customer ID. That's going to be a number as well. And that's it. Oh, let me click view. Save my changes. Yes. I've got all my four tables there. Now I'm going to close this one. And what I'm going to do is go back in and show you the design view of each of these tables so you guys know what they look like again. Another way to get to design view is let's say I want to go into customer table. I can right click. And I should be able to go to design view. Here we go. Design view straight away. So that's what that looks like. This is customer type table next. Design view. That's what that one looks like. I'm going to go to ticket table next. Right click. Design view. Shows me that. Ticket type table. Right click. Design view. It shows me that. Now this shows me all the stuff I need. Um, I do believe that screenshotting these is a requirement of the exam so what i'm going to do is in the next video as soon as i start i'm going to show you guys how to screenshot and then i'm going to show you guys how to set your primary keys as well in that one video all right